guys, it's Lita. Welcome to Separated by Few. So all of us, at one point or another, have had to deal with bullying, correct? And it really, really hurts. Bullying can hurt quite a bit. And I mean, you know, sometimes it can be really funny. Like one time when I had purple hair, some kid was like, Yo, man, you purple like grapefruit. LOL. Grapefruits are pink and orange last time I checked, but okay, buddy. So, you know, that occasional funny bullying happens when they don't really intend to be funny, but it's funny anyway. But a lot of times, bullying is not an issue to be laughed at. I just want to teach you guys a couple of methods that I use to create an immunity to bullying and the effects that it has on you. My first method that I use every time someone bullies me is basically my best friend. She calls me names all the time. She's mean to me in best friend way all the time and when someone else that I don't even know says like oh freak or like something like that I just imagine them as my best friend dressed up like someone else and so I'm like ha, that's my best friend you know it's kind of a weird method but it works at least for me the most important method I would think is um it applies to basically anything, is do not take anything personally. Even if it's a good thing, don't take it personally. I mean, you can you can accept good, good things if you would like, but when someone says something about you, it has nothing to do with you. Nothing. Honestly. Anything that someone else claims about you, it has no, <coughs> sorry, it has no relevance to you in any way, shape, or form at all. Because anything that someone else says is their own mindset and their own opinion that they are applying to you. But if you keep in mind that anything that someone else says is has nothing to do with you at all, then anything that they say will bounce right off of you and hit them in the face so freaking hard. Because what they want is they want to hurt you. And if you show them that it's not hurting you, they're going to be like, ah. Well, that was fail. You know, they're gonna feel bad about it. Maybe not. <laughs> they might not show it, but you know, if if something, if their plan is foiled for hurting you, if you show them that you have an immunity to it, their own poisons that they're shooting at you will be shot right back at them, and they will become way more poisoned than they already were. Also, if you are one of the people who bullies others. Really, I know that everybody is raised differently. Everybody grows up with different beliefs from their parents, from their surroundings, from their friends. You know, everybody has different perceptions of what is good, what is bad, what is ugly, what is beautiful, what is skinny, etc. Um, I know that. But the thing is, you, you have a choice of whether or not to take action and actually hurt someone. You can think whatever you want. It's human nature to judge things. You know, people say a lot of times, oh, I don't judge people. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. It is human nature. It is an innate ability for humans to judge things. We would not survive if we didn't have judgment. You know, people need to judge what is good, what is bad, what is dangerous, what is safe. It's the same concept applied to people. You know, if someone had a gun up to your head, would you be like, oh, I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, you need judgment. You need to know jumping off a bridge over a spiky canyon of death spikes is good or bad. Obviously, my judgment is telling me that would be pretty bad. So... Everybody judges everything. Everybody does. But your brain judges it. It stays in your head unless you choose to announce it with your mouth. So the thing I'm trying to get across is if you do bully people and if you do go forth and hurt someone, whether it be by word of mouth straight to their face or if it's on the internet, which is more likely since that happens all the time, Still, it's going to hurt people unless they have an immunity to it. So this basically goes hand in hand, not hurting people and having an immunity to things. Because basically nothing can happen. If you choose not to hurt someone, then they won't get hurt. 
if you choose to hurt someone and they have an immunity to it, nothing happens. But if you don't have an immunity to it, if you let words from other people hurt you, that's going to create a big dent in your confidence, in, in your self-love. It will. And also, everybody technically is the same. You know, we all come from the same origin. We're all human beings. We're all the same species. It's like a cat bullying another cat saying like, oh, you're a calico cat and I'm a Siamese cat. You're ugly because you're a calico cat. Calico cats are cute, okay? Siamese cats are cute. They are different types, but they're the same species. And all of us were growing in a womb and were birthed. You know, we were all conceived the same way. We were all brought up on the same planet, unless you're from like Asgard, like Thor, if you are. You're awesome. I have two boxes of cereal here. These are cornflakes. These are fruity churros. I thought I had Fruit Loops, but this will have to do. Every one of these Fruit Loops, well, a couple of them are the same color. They're all different, oops, they're all different colors, right? For Corn Flakes, these are all different sizes and in different shapes. So basically, you can think of society and humanity and people as these two cereals. There are different colors, and there are different shapes and sizes in people. Personalities, races, uh, choices of style, body weight, height, see? Comparisons. But the thing is, although different colors, wow, they all taste the same because they are the same type of cereal. All of these cornflakes which are different sizes, different shapes. Well, gosh, these all taste the same too. Even though those cornflakes were all different shapes and sizes, they all came from the same box, believe it or not. Even though those fruity Cheerios were all different colors, same box. Humans are the same species. They come from the same origin. We are all the same. So when you bully someone, maybe just kind of think of them as the same type of cereal as you. There's no need to bully someone that is the same type of cereal as you. Just remember to try and see yourself in them because we're all the same. We may have different personalities, we may have different perceptions of things, but we're all the same. And you can create an immunity to yourself if you just don't take anything that they say personally because it honestly has nothing to do with you. You are who you decide you are. Your own perception of yourself, your own judgments of yourself, they are all that matters. Bullying can hurt if you let it hurt you. Alright guys, so I will see you guys later. Please have a really good day. I love you all. Goodbye.